I will install the Ruby on Rails runtime. Confirm. So this will install Ruby on Rails. Now it is installed. Then I will get from the GitHub the sample application, which is a to-do list. Let's see that application. This is a source. Let me show you the screen of the application. As we can see, it's very simple application to-do list. First, let's see what is the directory in the current directory by using ls list. So as we can see, we don't have any directory. Then I will clone this GitHub sample application. So this will clone that locally. So let's list again. So as we can see now, we have a directory in our in our current location, which is Ruby on Rails tasks. So let's navigate to that directory. And then here I will list. So this is the current directories inside the repo, the local repo. I will need to install all the, the package management for this application. And before installing that, I need to install the package management for Ruby on Rails, which is the bundler. So here I will install the Ruby bundler, the package management for Ruby. Now I confirm. Then I will update the bundler. This will update the bundler. Now it's updated. And then I will install some libraries for the Ruby on Rails. Confirm that. And then I will install another library database with Ruby on Rails. Confirm. Another library. Now I am ready to run the bundle which restore all the package for the current Ruby on Rails application. So this will restore all the bundle. Let's see restoring here as we can see this is all the third party packages with this application. Now it's restored. Now let's navigate to see to the database folder and to the migrate folder. And as we can see here, this is the file for the created task database, which is defined the schema of the Postgres database. Now we will run the Rails migration to create the table that the application needs by using rack db create. This will create the table. And then list here so we can see this is the same schema and then run the migrate. So now the database is created. Let's get out cd space two dot. Then clear the screen. Now let's run the Ruby on Rails application local on the local machine. So we will run that by using Rails server. So now the application running on the local machine using port 3000. But port 3000 is not open on the Linux machine. So I need to open that port first. So I will navigate to the Linux machine and add a port rule. Here is 3000. And I will put the priority 100. So to be on the top, just to name the port. Then click add. Now it's added. And then I need to re restart the virtual machine. So I will click restart just to give some time. Let's navigate to the Windows machine. As we can see, it disconnected. Just I need to reconnect again using SSH and IP. It seems the machine is not up yet. 
Now it's ask for the password. Now I am connected. Let's clean the screen. So now I'm running the app server on the local machine. So now it's on the port 3000. So let's copy the public IP of the machine and open the browser. Just put the IP with 3000 port to navigate to the application on the local Linux machine. So now we can see the application. Let's adjust that so we can see the streaming of the application. Now I can click create new to create new tasks. Let's say task one. I can navigate to the list. I can edit. Create another task. Task two. Back. Task three. Back. I can also delete 